bringing his word to pass. Oh, my. Listen closely. 1 Corinthians 4.20 says the kingdom of God is his word made power. You're going to put that down, 1 Corinthians 4.20. The kingdom of God is God's word made power. What is the kingdom of God is within you. The kingdom's in you. And when the word comes in there, what does this word begin? It turns itself into power. Making it say just exactly what it said. You can't say it says this, it says this, and make it work. you got to say the same thing it says. That makes a confession. Not saying, well, it's polished up a little here. I'll have more wisdom. I'll be in better standing over here. You stay with the word. There it is. See? And it makes it power. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and forever. Jesus said in uh, St. John 14, uh, 12, If ye abide in me in my words in you, no, I beg your pardon. That wasn't what he said there. He said, He that believeth in me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Amen. If ye abide in me and my word in you, you can ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Amen. If ye abide in me and my word in you, what is it? You've got to get with the word, get yourself killed out. I'm persuaded that many of us, friends, have received the Holy Ghost, but we just receive enough Holy Ghost in us to make us uh, uh, to a place where we don't want to lie, we don't want to steal. We don't want to do anything, but God wants to fill every fiber of his church. Amen. He wants to fill your thinking. He wants to fill your mind. He wants to fill every bit of you. Just make you completely, totally dead to yourself or to your thinking. Just so surrendered in God that his word just living right through you. You don't know nothing else but God's word. You stay right with his word. It is life. My words are life, said Jesus. Amen. He's placed with them. Teachers believe in the Bible. Prophets that say the truth, that say, show the same prophecy that they've always did down to the age. What's he done? He's showing himself alive among them, confirming his word. His word, the kingdom of God, is God's word made power. While